Mister. Forced to return early, Boris Johnson faced a House of Commons ready to pounce. This is a Prime Minister whose authority is seriously compromised, but he went on the attack. The Supreme Court was asked to intervene in this process for the first time ever, and it is absolutely no disrespect to the judiciary to say I think the court was wrong to pronounce on what is essentially a political question at a time. He accused MPs of blocking Brexit. He goaded the opposition, daring them to hold a vote of no confidence in his government and hold a general election. It's time for this parliament finally to take responsibility for its decisions. We decided to call that referendum. We promised, we promised time and again to respect it. I think the people of this country have had enough of it. This parliament must either stand aside and let this government get Brexit done or bring a vote of confidence and finally face the day of reckoning with the voters. Opposition leader Jeremy Corbyn did not fall for the bait. He says he wants a general election. I want a general election. It's very simple. If you want an election, if he wants an election, get an extension and let's have an election. Parliament has passed a new law forcing Johnson to seek a Brexit extension should he fail to negotiate a new deal. His ministers say he'll obey the new law, but hint they're still looking for ways around it. Boris Johnson came out swinging. There was no sense of apology or remorse. And not for the first time, he cast himself on the people's side against Parliament and the establishment, who he says will do anything to block Brexit. As and when there is an election, that will be at the centre of his campaign. This has been a predictably theatrical day full of noise and recrimination, but in truth nothing much of substance to unlock the Brexit impasse. The clock is ticking to the 19th of October, the day Johnson must request a new extension from the EU. That's when another constitutional crisis could occur. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World, London.